Hello little bookworms, I'm Georgie and today we are going on a very special journey with Maisie and Daisy, Maisie's wonderful wheelchair. So snuggle up, get comfy and let's discover the wonder within the pages of Maisie and Daisy Move House. Written by Michelle de Robola, with illustrations by Amanda Letcher. Here we go. There was once a young girl who they all knew as Maisie. She used a neat wheelchair with wheels like a daisy. And often at night in her bed while she slept, all of the dreams about Daisy, her wheelchair, she kept. Late at night in her dreams, she could see all the glory that's such a big part of a wheelchair's life story. She well understood Daisy's challenging life and the day-to-day -day issues that could cause some strife. Maisie dreamt about moving to such a nice home where her mum made it clear it was okay to roam. So then Daisy and Maisie discovered some things that a move to a house very typically brings. The new house was bright yellow, so easy to see. It's a colour so cheerful, it filled them with glee. But in front of the door, they could see something there. They looked closely and noticed a short little stair. While to some, this might not be a very big deal. When you're moving on wheels, it's a challenge that's real. Mum remarked, it's okay, and the fix will be quick. I have done this before, and I know a good trick. Then she helped them get up with a push and a tug. They both felt a quick pain, so Mum gave them a hug. Mum advised, let's rely on the trick just for now. But she added, let's solve this for good, we'll learn how. And then Daisy and Maisie cruised through the front door, gliding smoothly inside on their way to explore. All around the big kitchen, including the sink, and then into the lounge to relax and to think. Next, they drove past the cupboard containing the broom and they moved down the hall to the door of their room. They were happy to see that the doorway was wide, so they knew that with ease they could roll right inside. Through the blinds on the windows and right past the glass, they could see a big garden with lots of green grass. So they rushed to get out to that beautiful place, zooming right through the house in a passionate race to the flowers and trees in the sunny backyard like the prettiest picture you'd find on a card. But, oh no, there were three little stairs over there. It was blocking the garden for them, so unfair. They were crying real tears till they both became damp Maisie's dad got to work, smartly building a ramp. After that, they could roll to their favourite flower. They thanked Maisie's dad, who had given them power. We know ramps are crucial for meeting a need, not created for fun or for racing or speed. Ramps let wheelchairs like Daisy get into more places allowing us all to have smiles on our faces. Next morning when Daisy awoke with a grin, 
she and Daisy got ready for taking a spin. Because Daisy and Maisie are such a great peer, they'll keep working together to go here and there. What a beautiful journey we went on with Maisie and Daisy today. Their story shows us the importance of inclusivity and how small changes like building a ramp can make a huge difference. If you loved Maisie and Daisy Move House, you'll find a link to purchase your very own copy in the video description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more magical stories. Do you know what it's time for now? It's time for us to stretch our arms up into the sky and wave goodbye to each other. Until next time, keep being wonderfully you. Bye for now. <laughs>